Hello, I'm Matt Hoots with Rada Green, and I have a treat for you today. I'm here with Caleb Pack with Husqvarna, and he's going to tell you all about their electric lawn equipment. Some of it can even be automated so you can watch sports while your lawnmower cuts the grass for you. Here's a question for you though. If your lawnmower is cutting the grass for you while you're watching TV, does that do you get credit for completing an item on your honey-do list? Besides the cool factor, why are self-automated and battery-powered electric equipment for carrying for your lawn important? Well, there's several factors. Well, first of all, they eliminate the need for gasoline or petrol, which is good for the environment and helps you smell better at the end of the day without all those fumes that get on you from normal gas-powered two-cycle equipment. Also, if you're trying to go carbon neutral, all electric equipment can be powered by the sun, or you can have a solar-powered battery charging station, therefore you can get closer to your carbon neutral goals. Caleb, can you tell us more about your automower and battery power program? All right, so my name's Caleb Back. I'm with Husqvarna. I'm the uh, robotic sales manager for them. Um, I'm going to go over the auto mower and battery program. So this is for our home builders. Uh, we give access to all of our auto mower models. Uh, you get a discount off of our MSRP on all models, uh, rebate for every 12 months of, of service. And basically what that is, is we set a goal um, and then we give you a percentage back off of that goal as long as that goal is hit every 12 months. Um, that goal can change every 12 months, kind of up or down, depending on the market and depending on uh, what you feel like your sales would look like. We also have set install pricing, um, a kickback per registered user for the home builder, uh, one installer per builder or development, depending on where those developments are in the country. Um, and we offer credit card or net 30 terms. And then once you purchase your auto mowers, it, we give free shipping on any purchase over two auto mowers. So kind of why auto mower? What makes us different than every other manufacturer in the in this space? Uh, we have the best battery capacity out of anyone in the market. Uh, we improve your grass quality, and we do that by sending the mower out multiple times a week. Then it cuts off a very small blade of grass, and then that allows the grass to drop into the soil and allow it to act as a fertilizer. Um, and so you don't have any thatch buildup. You don't have to remove any thatch. You don't have any kind of issues with that. And then that just helps the grass want to grow with the roots instead of trying to grow up like normal grass blades do, um, which allows an improved quality of turf, uh, less irrigation, less fertilizer. Um, and then you have the constant fresh cut mode, looks like fresh laid carpet look um, every single day on your property. All of our auto mowers with the X designation have auto mower connect to it. Um, our product offerings will go up to a 70% slope. Um, all of them have GPS tracking so that you can know where your auto mower is at all times. If it was stolen, that is the best way to find it is with the GPS tracking um, as it will get extremely close to let you know exactly who stole your auto mower. Um, we have a two year bumper to bumper warranty and that covers anything and everything that goes wrong with your auto mower. Um, we also have sports field options with our club solution and our EPOS, which is launching in 2021 uh, for a wireless solution. We also offer solar solutions for areas where you cannot get power to. This is a look at our auto mower lineup. As you can see, we offer all the way down our residential models, which is the X line that you can see, and the 115H, that is our model that is for most home homeowners. Um, it will do the 115 and the 315 will both do 0.4 acres. Um, the difference between them is that the 315 is connected. So that allows you to access your auto mower anywhere in the world, make changes to it, uh, to the settings, make changes to the schedule on it, and um, you know just give you full control of your automower or wherever you are at in, in the world. We also offer our product line goes up from there. Um, our, some of our new stuff is a 520, which is very similar to our 315 uh, because we did notice in the pro line that 
many people were needing a smaller mower with more guide wires. Um, the guide wires basically allow the mower to get to and from the charging station and to find any tricky areas in a lawn or a commercial setting. So we wanted to have an offering that gave you a smaller mower, but so it could get into smaller areas, but it would also give you the uh, three guide wires that some of our top of the line mowers do. The, uh, the all wheel drive mowers that we have offering, the 535 and the 435, those will do the 70 percent slope. And so it will do, basically that's a 35 degree angle um, that the auto mower will climb. This pretty much stops on a dime. The, that mower is one where if you have any kind of hills, um, any very steep slopes, the all wheel drive is definitely the way to go. The mower with the most capacity would be our 550 and 450, and they will do up to 1.25 acres. And all of the acreage settings are plus or minus 20%. Basically what that has to do with is the more complicated of the yard, it's harder for the mower to do more acreage, the less complicated, more open fields, then of course it can do more than, than what we have it rated for. Um, the e-post unit is something that is coming out in 2021 as long as well as the 520. Um, the e-post is a completely wireless system. How it works is we have a reference station that is mounted as high as we can possibly get it um, near the working area, but does not have to be in the working area. Um, then you have an app on your phone that you would do the install for the 550 ohm. Everything is virtual. Uh, you place your charging station, run your mower around. You can have virtual stay out zones um, and you can turn those on and off. So let's say you have a low spot in your turf and it fills up with water every single time a heavy rain comes through. Well, you obviously don't want your mower going underwater. Uh, you could turn on that virtual stay out zone while the water is dissipating in that area and the mower will not go in that area at all. When that area is dry, you can turn that virtual stay out zone off and then the mower will now mow that, that area. The uh, 550 EPOS also offers some pretty amazing features where it, you can actually place the mower away from the working area and then you can give it a road to drive down to get to the working area. Uh, we have seen this in a lot of sports field applications where no one wants the mowers on the actual working area because of tripping hazards and, and whatnot that, that can cause issues for the players and athletes that are there. So this way you can place the mower outside of that area and then every time it wants to mow, it will drive down a small path and then get onto the working area and where it will uh, do its job and mow all of the turf that's in the area. So here's a look at our residential series lineup. And as you can see, the 115, all of our black units are the residential series, by the way. So it goes all the way from the 115H up to the 435, and that is designated in pricing. Um, as you can see on the bottom, that is our MSRP pricing and the differences for each mower. Um, as you can see, once you get up to the 435X, you are looking at just about every single feature that we could offer um, for the mower and things that no other manufacturer can, can tout, like the, the working area, um, the battery capacity and others. Um, then you can see our Pro Series lineup and the 520 and the 550 EPOS are the brand new offerings for that. Um, you can see the pricing for MSRP on all of that as well, and the different differences for each mower. Um, the big difference between the Pro Series and the Residential Series is the Pro Series, as long as there's not a safety-related fault, you can restart the mower from your phone. So you do not need to go and sit by the mower and watch it or anything like that. Um, it will, you just press restart on it, the mower will start back up and start working again. With the residential series, for any fault that uh, the mower has thrown, you have to go and physically reset the mower. And we do that for a safety reason. Normally, if, it, if you're at your house, you don't have a very far uh, way to walk, you can easily go out there, inspect the area, make sure that there is nothing around it that will cause any damage, um, and then and restart the mower with the keypad on the top of it. 
the uh, Pro Series lineups, they don't even have a keypad on the top. All they have on the top of the mower is a start stop button so that if you needed to, you could easily walk by the mower and stop it. So it would pause where it's at, um, do whatever you need to do, press start and the mower would start back up mowing again. So one of the features that we offer is our auto mower club solution. And this is for uh, sports fields that where one mower won't work and you would need, you, you don't want any guide wires in the working area. So you aerate the area or, um, you know, you have irrigation that's very high up. That you, you just can't have any kind of wires in the working area. What we do is we put two to three mowers together uh, they're about five meters apart, the charging stations. And then the mowers are, all of the mowers are linked together and all the charging stations are linked together to where when you want the mowers to go out, they all go into the working area, they ping pong around, they get their mowing done, and then they come back to the charging station. Um, this is very crucial for a lot of sports fields, like I said, where you cannot aerate in them at all. Um, but you, we don't have a mower that will cover that kind of acreage yet. So this is the solution that we have for it. And as you can see, this is a diagram. So there's no wires in the working uh, area and you have an expandable mowing capacity. So the red wire or the red line in this would be your guide or your boundary wire, excuse me. Um, and basically what that is, is that is just a line that is laid around the working area in the perimeter to tell the mower where it can and can't go. Uh, if you have any stay out zones, you would ma make an island out of those and link them into the back into the boundary wire. Then that basically makes it where the mower will never be able to run outside of the working area. Uh, if you pick the mower up and place it outside of the working area, it will not move and it'll send a fault to your phone saying that it is outside of the working area. It's a complete safety, uh, safety thing where if the mower were to fall out off of a curb or something like that, then the mower would not move. It'll just sit there and wait for someone to come and pick it up and put it back into the working area. So here's a look at our solar solution. Um, as you can see, the pricing on it, MSRP $25.99 and $33.99, respectively, for U.S. and Canada. Um, it offers basically where if you do not have power or it's not very cost effective to run power to a certain area, but you still want auto mower, you still want to have that, this is the option that we have. It has the capability to add in two batteries to it. Um, and with that extra battery, you have the ability to run um, two mowers or a e-post mower and the reference station for that. And you can see here some of the key features and benefits of our solar solution. Um, we try and ship, we ship everything with as little setup as you, you possibly could. So everything is pre-wired. Setup takes about an hour. Um, you have two outputs with pre-selected amperage levels so that you can run, like I said, two auto mowers or one auto mower and one e-post reference station. Um, so you, you also have the exterior outlet switch and digital battery monitor. Um, and then you can see the other features and the benefits that they allow. So here's a look at our auto mower connect. Um, like I said, all of our X units, they have auto mower connect already on them but you can also add Auto Mower Connect to any unit that doesn't have the X designation. What, that, what the Auto Mower Connect allows you to do is, like I said earlier, you have full control over your Auto Mower from your personal phone, which is amazing because you can start and stop. Um, you can tell it where to, or the, how long to stop for, how long to start for. So if you're out for a few hours and you just want them to go, you just press start and it'll say, start for two, three, four, I think it's up to 12 hours. You also have a bunch of statistics that it'll show you. It will tell you how long your, um, how long your automotor has been running, the distance it's traveled, it, how many collisions that it's had. So if you set up your automower where you say this thing should never collide with anything and you see that it's colliding with something according to your app, that'll let you know, okay, maybe we did the installation a little bit, a little bit incorrect and we need to go and make some uh, improvements to that. 
You also have the ability to buy your mower blades from your app. So the mower blades, how our mowers work is we have three uh, razor blades that are, are located on the bottom of the mower. We suggest replacing those every one to two months, depending on the amount of use that that auto mower has and the grass type that you have. Obviously, thicker grass is going to dull out the blades faster. Uh, more use is going to dull out the blades faster. Pretty much any time that you see an area where your grass is starting to look kind of choppy, we suggest replacing the blades. They're very simple with a Phillips head screwdriver. You can easily flip the mower over, take the blade off, stick a new blade on there and put the screw back in. Um, and that will allow you to have fresh cut grass every single day. Um, some of the other things that you can have, if you have a fleet of auto mowers or just multiple at your at the same house, all auto mowers will have access to the exact same app. And so you can see the my mower at the bottom of this one, uh, the picture right here, and it will tell you exactly you know which mower you're looking at, and then you can make different selections for different mowers um, at any time. You can also reset your pin code from your app um, in case there was any kind of security or safety reasons for that. Some of the new accessories that we have offering for auto mower are the top right is the wall hanger. And basically what that is used for is you can mount that to any garage wall or any wall at all. Um, and then in the winter months when you have feet of snow on the ground or hibernating grass, you can pick that mower up and hang it on the wall to keep it out of the way of anybody. Um, we also offer housing for our high cut all wheel drive and our low cut machines. The new accessory part of this was the high cut and the all wheel drive since we already had the housing unit for the, the low cut unit. Um, so what this does is it basically allows for a protection around the mower. It attaches to the charging station of the mower and it will, it will hide the mower and allow it to uh, get out of the elements whenever it's parked. The mowers are completely sealed units, except for a ventilation system on the top of them. They are perfectly fine in rain, snow, uh, anything like that is perfectly fine with the mower. Uh, the only issue that we do not want you to do is to submerge the mower for any reason. Uh, water and electronics obviously do not mix very well. So that is definitely something that, that is a no-no, but other than that, water, rain, water never seems to get into it. Um, irrigation, we, su we suggest that you run it on different intervals as your irrigation, but if that's not possible, it's also not going to hurt the unit. Um, we have had some accidents with customers where the irrigation head has popped up and gotten caught into the unit, um, and that has done some damage to the unit and their irrigation system. So that's why we suggest not running them at the same time. Uh, one of our other accessories is a fairway kit. And so what that does is that lowers your cutting height down 0.4 inches. So that would lower your lowest cutting height and your upper cutting height. Um, for our low cut units, we offer units that will go down to 0.8 inches and up to two inches. For our high cut units, we take the two inch mark and then as the low cut or the lowest part for the high cut is two inches and then the high point is 3.6 inches. And then for our all wheel drive, it's kind of a hybrid unit in there. It will do up to uh, 2.9 inches for the, the all wheel drive. The fairway kit, as you can see, it'll lower everything down to 0.4. So if you want really, really low cut grass, um, it's a really cool, neat uh, accessory. And as you can see at a 1499 MSRP, not, not pricey at all. With our home builder program, we also offer um, access to all of our battery equipment. And so our battery equipment is what you can see here where we offer a nine inch power cutter, which is uh, great for concrete cutting. Um, we also offer all of our batteries from a 100, 200, 300, all the way up to our backpack battery that is a 950. Our pole saws, we have two different pole saw options. 
Um, and basically the difference between them is the handling on it. They have uh, telescopic handling for the T unit and uh, non for the uh, IP4 unit. We also offer three different types of hedge trimmers. As you can see, some of them, it basically ranges from your more home use to your professional use. Um, and then you can also see that we have the, the T designation for our 520 as well. And that is a new offering for 2021. Our trimmers, we have two different uh, offerings for those. The 520 is our professional use trimmer and the 325 is our resident, residential use slash uh, accessory. You can change out the, the head on that 325. So we, uh, with the 325, we offer a blower attachment um, an edger attachment, obviously the trimmer attachment, hedge trimmer attachment, um, and a pole saw attachment for that. So you can just buy as a customer, if you if one of your customers wanted it, they could buy the 325 ILK and then just the attachments for it so that they would have very minimal uh, space used up in their garage and have all of the uh, offerings that that you can and what you would need for to keep your yard looking pristine. For blowers, we have a 436, which is, I can say from personal experience because I own one of these, it is an amazingly powerful blower for a battery battery blower. You, in my opinion, you can't tell too much of a difference between this battery blower as the, uh, the gas powered blower. It has a boost button, a cruise control button, um, and then just a power button. It is, I, I can't say enough great things about this. I love this blower. Um, my favorite aspect of it is, personally, it's been very difficult for me to get my wife to help out with lawn care because of the petrol and pull strings and everything. With the battery stuff, she is game to get out there with me and uh, work out in the yard constantly. So the the other blower that we offer is our 550 IBTX, um, and that is our backpack blower. It will pair up with the 950 battery to give you longer run life, and all of our batteries are interchangeable for any of the units that we offer. For chainsaws, we have four different offerings currently, uh, the 535 IXP and the 535 um, IXPT, and, or excuse me, the T535 IXP. The T just designates top handle. And so we also, for 2021, we're coming out with our 540 IXP, and that is also offered in a top handle. Uh, the very top, you can see our two battery chargers that we're offering, the 330 and the 500. Um, and the difference between those is just how fast you would get the battery to charge. Here's a look at the differences in our batteries. Um, as you can see, the 950 is definitely gonna be your more expensive one. And then it goes down from the three, two, and then 100. Uh, it, the, Batteries are amazing. I would suggest any time that you are using any kind of cutting equipment, like a pruner, pole saw, or a chainsaw, to use at least a 300 battery um, to have the best performance out of that. The 200 and 100 are definitely where you can use them in it. Uh, you would just have a very, very short run time on those. The 950 uh, battery, you can purchase a, an adapter that will go into any of our units so that you could use the backpack battery on any of our handheld equipment and not just the backpack blower. So here's another, as you can see, the interchangeable, uh, any of our batteries work with anything. We also offer a battery belt. So it's a belt that'll hold up to two batteries, and then you have the connector that you can run into it, into the uh, piece of equipment with, so that if it, you know for uh, fatigue on anyone that's doing large area and large scale uh, maintenance. And then we have a cost of ownership to take a look at this. So if you look at you know if if you're running a small crew of guys running just battery equipment compared to the petrol equipment. You can see the difference in the cost here. Um, and then that's all MSRP cost. 
the fuel cost, we go with two years and I believe it was $1.75 a gallon. I have all of this in the next slides uh, on how we got to the piece, um, the numbers on this. The cost per fueling, as you can see the difference. And then we'll go down to the two year savings. If you go to battery, you're looking at $1,881.88 uh, savings for two year, over two years. And then here's our calculations, just to, so you can see our math behind the numbers. And we did uh, $2.41 per gallon plus the mix. And then you can see the difference in two years and three years for fueling. And then two years and three years for your battery usage. So we definitely added in the cost of the batteries um, and then the cost of the fuel so that it is an apples to apples comparison as much as we possibly could get. And that is our auto mower and battery home builder program. Do you need to sharpen the blades for these mowers or are the replacement blades cheap enough where you don't have to worry about this? So to be honest with you, the cost is just not there for it. Since it is just a small razor blade, uh, it's, it's very difficult to sharpen. But then also the cost of the razor blades are very minimal. I want to say that nine razor blades will cost you around $15. So, you know, it's, it's very minimal cost. Um, and then with the nine razor blades, uh, each unit has three razor blades on it. So you're looking at, you know, at least three months, three to six months worth of use for 15 bucks. So it's, it's very cost effective just to purchase new uh, razor blades. You mentioned that there's a kit that you can add to your mower to cut the greens, but will this also help you with your golf swing? I wish. If it could, I would be much better at golf. Is there increased productivity for the worker that uses all electric lawn equipment? We don't currently have any that I'm aware of uh, documentation on it, but you can tell with the reduction in the vibration that the user is seeing, uh, like you said, the reduction in the, in the noise that it's causing, um, less stopping time to refuel. Yes, you will have to pop out a battery and put in a new one, but that takes far less time than walking back to the truck, putting it, you know, getting the fuel, putting that into the machine, hoping that it cranks back up, the overheating issues you don't have with the uh, machines. So it gives you a much faster and better uh, experience for the user. And they just, honestly, after using these for an entire day and looking back at when I would use the petrol uh, equipment, your hearing's better. You don't have, <laughs> you're not shaking the whole time. Everything just feels a lot more comfortable and you're more energized to get your work done throughout the day so that you can keep working at that top level instead of dying down throughout the day like most, most teams do with petrol equipment. And that also goes with our auto mowers. They have a great reduction in allergies because you are allergens because you're not kicking up all of that dust and pollen and everything when you like you do when you're out uh, actually mowing with a traditional real cut mower. Is your residential line designed more for the homeowner or the professional lawn care maintenance group? So this is for both. Um, with our mowers, obviously you're you're never going to be able to completely have a mower do everything. Um, we tout our mowers as as a lawn maintenance solution um, just for the turf. You would still need to edge. There still would need to be a little bit of weed eating, um, and then obviously pruning of your of your hedges and everything like that. So you're never going to have a full complete solution with, with an auto mower, um, but you do have the perfect lawn every single day. The difference between our units, um, anybody can purchase either, either unit. We're not trying to say that, you know, residential units have to be on homes. Um, they can be on commercial properties. I've got a few of them on commercial properties. It just all kind of depends on how much interaction you would like with your, with your unit. And if you're going to be around and you have a maintenance crew that will go out and, you know, they're constantly doing the detail work, as we put it, um, then, you know, maybe you would rather have residential units so that they have some interaction with the units and can learn um, how the units work that way. 
if you're constantly going to be away from your units where maybe you own um, a few different rental properties and you want these at your rental properties, but you don't want to be at your rental properties, obviously, every single day, um, you can get the pro line units where you can restart those and you only have to visit them if a safety related fault were to occur. Um, mainly the safety related faults are if the mower is picked up um, and then put back down, then you would have to go and reset that mower. Um, but we also have with the mowers security levels where if someone were to pick up the mower an alarm can sound, um, which will normally prompt people to immediately set it down because it makes them feel like somebody's watching them uh, with that alarm system. And so, you know, it, it, you can use our residentials uh, units on pro uh, pro turfs and vice versa. Either way works. Um, just the the differencing on the the capabilities of the units for interaction is really the difference. Do you need a special power source, or do you need to increase the electrical load on a building in order to charge these batteries? Yeah, and all of our units are just plug and play. I mean, you 120 volt, you just plug it right in and you're good to go. Um, you don't have to do any kind of amperage changes to your house or your commercial property, anything like that. We don't, we don't want anybody to have to change too much stuff just to put in a, a nice auto mower. I want to give a special thanks to Caleb for sharing all of this information with the Rate of Green audience and also answering our questions. If you like this presentation and like the idea of solar powered lawnmowers, give us a thumbs up. And for your convenience, we've loaded a few more Rate of Green member videos for you to enjoy. If you've not already done so, we appreciate you subscribing to our channel. That way you can see more videos just like this one. And also don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications when we post other videos from our Rated Green members. See you next time.